All right, so now we want variables. And for variables, if we were, if we would have done them, oh, what happened? If we would have done them on, on the playground, we would do something like query, uh, move, not movie, and then ID and something here, right? Now with Apollo, it's a little bit different, um, but it's almost the same. I wanna say query. And this is a query that I'm gonna name for Apollo, okay? It's not a query that I'm gonna name for um, my GraphQL here. So I'm gonna say movie, it could be the same, all right? And I'm gonna say that this, this query has a variable. And in this case, the variable is gonna be int. It's gonna be ID. So I'm gonna say movie ID, and I'm gonna say that movie ID is a int, all right? And now inside here, I actually, I create my query that actually has to have the same name here, movie. This one could be get movie details, okay? This is only for Apollo. This is not for the server, all right? But this one, movie, is actually for the server. So I'm gonna say movie, here movie, and movie requires an ID. And the ID is movie ID, all right? That's basically it. So now I'd save and let's say that I'm gonna get uh, from the movie ID, I'm going to get the image, the title, rating. What else should I get? Uh, summary, no, um, intro, description intro. Let's see. What happened? Movie, movie, yes, movie. Description, intro, medium, cover image. Everything is good to me. I was doing something stupid. This should be like this. All right, what else? Let's see, movie, title, rating, description, medium. I think that's it, right? There's nothing else we can show. Mm, description, language, language. Generous, let's do everything then. Generous, that's it. Done. All right, that's it. Done. This is what this is all we want. So I'm gonna copy this because that's what I that's what I, that's what I want, and I'm gonna put it here again. Remember, this is only for grab for uh, Apollo because we need to tell him what kind of variables we are gonna give to the query, and then we actually call our query, the one I'm calling right here. We actually call it, but with the variable here. All right, awesome. So now this is done on movie. Now what I want to do is on detail here, let's create our, let's import our query. So movie details, detail, here we go. Import movie details from uh, queries. Movie details from queries, let's see if it's working. Yep, all good. And I forgot something. I also want to suggest movies, so suggestions. And I only want the medium cover image and the title and the rating. That's all I want. What happened? Suggestions. Oh, I forgot. I need to give it an ID. So I want the, the, the movie details and I want the suggestions for this movie. All right, so let's copy paste this because I want that, I want this on my query as well. Here, but instead of, oh, not here, here, but instead of suggestions, instead of the ID here, I want movie ID. All right, that's it. And now all we have to do is go to details. Let me just close some stuff. Now you have to do is go to details and instead of doing this, let's kill everything like this. Bye bye. All right. And here we are going to say query. And the query that we want to use is movie details. All right. Here we're going to close query, but also we need to make the um, we need to make the render prop function. So this has loading, error, data. Let's make the function if 
loading then I'm gonna return loading again I encourage you to do something beautiful here if error return error return and here we need to just do react fragment and let's start fucking around so here data dot uh title data dot medium cover image data dot rating data dot description intro done let's see so loading all good how much time five minutes good we click it's gonna load oh error fuck why this is working huh show me error well i don't know why let's go inspect console the server respond with a status non found oh shit variable movie id of required type int wasn't provided oh my god i forgot to include variables that was the point of this uh, video and i didn't include the variables so how do we actually include variables here it's very simple all we have to do here is say variables all right and the variable name is movie id right so i'm gonna say movie id equals movie id from the route movie id and if you know JavaScript, you know that this is the same. Let's check it out. Fuck. Save, save. Okay, let's go. Refresh. Loading and doesn't work. Data. Oh, I forgot. Data that movie. Done. Loading. And there it is. But it looks shit. <laughs> All right. Now, the point of this is the cache i want you guys to see the cache so let's go back loading of course is going to load the first page this one the first one the night of the hunter i click it's going to load the night of the hunter waiting all right i go back it's loaded i come here and it's also already loaded as you can see there is cache this is the best part of all that on a normal react website um, the detail screen for example will be handled by you and you will reset the state every time the component mounts the state is empty and loading true and all that stuff and you wouldn't have cache it will be hard to implement it uh you'll have to do something like redux or something but in this case as you can see i'm come i come here it's already on the database this one has to load but once it loads i can come back i can come again and it's already loaded all right and this is something freaking freaking cool about the cache of um Apollo, it's just amazing. You don't. It doesn't. It looks immediate, all right? No more loading stays ridiculously, and you don't need Redux for this. People, will, people would usually need Redux for this because Redux keeps it on the cache, right, of the reducer, and then you call it every time. And if it doesn't exist on the reducer, you will load it. In this case, all this checking is gone. Bye bye. By the way, the previous version of React Apollo used to work with Redux under it. Uh, yes. That's it. So we do have our component working. Awesome. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna drop some CSS here, and we're gonna see you in the next one for the conclusions because I think that's it. I'm gonna enumerate all the good shit that this gives us. Really, the cache is just wonderful. Huh? It's just fucking great. Like really, making this is so hard in Redux. Like all the code you have to make is insane. All right. See you in the next video. Bye bye.